All right, I got the shield finished as far as design goes. Jeez, I hope people realize that's not the design I would have come up with, but then again, I'm not the warrior who designed it. Anyway, um, I need something to attach it to the figure without destroying what I just spent two days creating. Time to play with some clay. Well, I finished the shield and I'm going to put it on there temporarily. Hopefully. I've got to attach it so that I can take it to the foundry and get some kind of a idea of what the cost would be to produce this with the shield on. And, uh, hope it doesn't cost too much. I got to find out how I should do, attach this so that they can make a mold of it. Whether I fill it in behind or what I do, I don't know. But uh, am I happy with the design? Well, it's pretty close to what it was. But all the elements are there. So, I'll just let it go at that. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take the shield and put it someplace out of uh, the way so I don't damage it. Let me show you what it looks like. It, it turned out pretty good. And I uh, tried to figure out some way of etching the different elements into the shield without... Uh, destroying the integrity of the shield. Anyway, we'll see what happens when they color it. All right. So now I'm going to work on his arm. It's really in bad shape. I've had to reposition it a couple of times, so it's broken the clay, so I'm going to have to reposition that, and i got to work on the top of his uh, loincloth on both back and front and on the knife sheath and on his body. I've got to work on all that. This is cut in a little too deep here, so I've got to fill that out a little bit. So it's time to get started. I've already put four hours into the sculpting today on that shield. <laughs> so I'm running out of time. And it's so beautiful outside. I'd want to go for a walk. All right. Well, the fringe came out good. I'm happy with that. And uh, it's nice and stiff like I was hot wanting it to be. And the, and the uh, I think the paint keeps it from softening a little bit. And I don't want it to soften. I want it to stay stiff. I've got a lot of holes to fill, though. And I can do that, but it's just going to take time. But I'm not going to do that before I take it to the foundry and get a bid on it because, quite honestly, it would just take too much time. Uh, so today I'm going to work on his uh, body a little bit, try to get that uh, to a point where I'm happy with it. Even though this part will be behind the shield, it still has to be uh, done. Yeah, the reason why the clay came apart is because I repositioned his arm and uh, put his elbow up a little higher and I um, need to a 
adjust all that for the change. I need to mark where my shield, outside part of the shield is. I guess what I'm trying to do is not make this a study in anatomy, but a study in a human. And that's all I'm doing is just trying to make them look like a normal human being. still need the anatomy, but I don't need to make it dominant. I'm going to put his ear in here, not in great detail because it'll be covered by the hair, but just enough to hang the stone from, because that's one of the things that he did was he hung a gray stone from his ear. how big the stone was it probably was a piece of gray stone that he found that had a, a hole in it you can find those sometimes they're rare which would make it uh, probably special to him 
I don't know his thinking. I don't know what was going through his brain. I'll fill behind that. Because it won't show. Just to make it stay there. All right, I'll be doing this hair tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do it today. I'm just about to the end of my day here. All right, I'm uh, working up in front of my computer again, making hawk feathers, or a hawk feather. And, uh, yeah, I like that. So I'll add this on to the uh, clay tomorrow. I made it a scale. And the reason I'm doing the hawk feather is because there's a description of that he wore a hawk feather, a single hawk feather in his hair. Speaking of crazy horse. I like that texturing. I really like this this monster clay for doing feathers much more than I do the uh, wax because you can actually see what you're doing in the monster clay. Dark brown wax is really hard to see what you're doing because it's dark and it's brown. <laughs> All right, everybody. <clears throat> Late at night, in my house, working on feather. See you all tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.